So this is one of those tips that is really subtle, but works really well. In purgatory, your greatest threat are the monks. So the idea here is to strictly go after the monks first and not even bother with the knights or the abominations. If they become a trouble, you just jump up on the roofs. The knights can't get you here. So what I'm doing is I'm simply hunting the monks. Now the neat thing is, as you move about the map, is the monks begin to know you're there and they'll even start to follow you around and pop up in places where you can take easy advantage of them. So again, ignoring the knights, ignoring the abominations, I'm simply going monk hunting. And once I've pretty much cleared all the monks, they are no longer a threat, and it becomes dealing with the knights and the abominations much easier because that's all you need to focus on. You're not going to get popped by some monk that appears in some corridor all of a sudden. Now you will have to be aware that the knights are going to throw stuff at you, but a lot easier to avoid an axe than an arrow. So once again, I'm just going around on the rooftops mostly, hunting the monks and taking care of that threat. And then once that threat's taken care of, I'll just move on to the knights and the abominations with much less uh, effort and stress. Now we know the monks are always up high, so we'll pop them out here and I can even take pot shots down from heights as well. So that's today's tip. Whatever cycle you're in, mostly cycle one, two, three players, uh, go after the monks first, clean them out, and then circle back and uh, deal with the knights. And in this particular run, I had some incursion, which I can now just lay and let them go boom. All right, thanks for watching again. Uh, keep on keeping on and uh, go monk hunting first. Multitasking, yeah, it's not so good. <laughs>